I have a 5 mil syringe and a 23 gauge hypodermic needle with some 1% lignocaine. And that would be the first thing that I use. Next, I would use this needle and this syringe. I make sure that I've got the cap off and put in line. That will be my next puncture. After that, I've got my wire. And the first thing I do here is I set it up. So I take this off and see that it's got a curvature. That curvature is to stop this tip here traumatizing any part of your central vein, your internal jugular vein, or your superior vena cava. So what I do is I just prep that so that I'm able to easily feed it through my syringe and needle. I then get it ready so it's really easily able to be fed through the syringe and needle. And as it comes through the other side of the needle there, it now flips over into a bit of a horseshoe and that means that it's really safe against any wall, that it's not going to traumatize the wall when it's down near the superior vena cava or the right atrium. After the wire goes in, my needle comes out and then I use a scalpel to make an incision to widen the skin incision. I then dilate with this device here that goes over the wire and dilates the skin and a bit of the vein. The final thing I do is I will load this through. Now, there's some parts of this kit that aren't adequate. So first of all, my assistant or nurse will provide me with some saline in one of these chambers. I will also need IV bungs in some kits. So I get those given to me in a sterile fashion. I need plenty of gauze for this, as well as tegaderm dressing afterwards. I need one of these antibiotic coated discs and also a suture kit. So as you can see, having enough trolley space is really vital. Finally, 4-0 monofilament suture is probably adequate. Also, I find that an extra 10 mil syringe is really useful.